In Matthew chapter 28, it says, After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, he is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. And I want to think about that phrase, about that he's risen. So the, the angel says, we know that you're looking for Jesus. So let's go back and take a look at verse 5. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He's risen, just as he said. <laughs> and so they're going to take a look for Jesus, and they go to the last place that they saw him, which was the tomb. And so you would expect to perhaps find a dead person in a tomb unless that person was risen from the dead. So unless a person was risen from the dead, you went to the right place. So we're going to see that in another passage where it talks about why are you looking for the dead among the living, right? So like normally when you lose your keys, you would go back and look for the last place that you remember having them. So that's just kind of like the way you go look for something. Wherever you saw it last, you retrace your steps. Oh yeah, last time we saw Jesus, he was in a tomb. If we're going to look for Jesus, let's go back to the last place we saw him. And so they head back to the tomb. But he's not in the tomb. So why are you looking for the living among the dead? So the angels say to the women, we know you're looking for Jesus Christ, but he's not here. And the reason he's not here, so let's take a look at that passage again. Verse 5, do not be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus who is crucified. He is not here. He has risen. And he's risen. And I like that next phrase. It says, just as he said. And so one of the things that God's going to do is this. God is going to always do what God says he does. God is always going to do what God says he's going to do. And in this case, Jesus said that after three days, he's going to rise again. And he died. You can count on one, two, three days. And guess what? He's not there. He's risen. Just as he said. That God is always going to fulfill his word. And like, here's a great example of God fulfilling his word. Where on Christ, all the sins of the world were put on him. Christ was put in the tomb. And even death can't hold him down. He was declared with power to be the son of God. That Christ carried our sins to the cross. Was buried and then rose again as a risen Lord, as a victorious King of Kings, that our sins are forgiven and we can have new life through Jesus Christ. And so as they go to look for Christ in the tomb, he's not here. Why isn't he here? He's risen, just as he said.